All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today there has been a new announcement by Pokemon Go for an event called Bug Out. This Pokemon will be featured around Burmy and Combi, as you can see on the picture here. So let's move on to the bonuses and what wild encounters we'll be getting during this event. So this event starts on April 12th at 10 a.m. and will finish on April 17th at 8 p.m. With the following bonuses, you'll have two times XP for catching Pokemon with nice throws or better, an increased candy chance for getting nice throws or better, increased XL chance for getting nice throws or better, and you'll have an increased chance of getting a shiny Combi or shiny Burmy during the event. Now, Pokemon showcases during this time will be the themed Pokemon, so Combi, Burmy, Wormadam, and Vespaquen. Now, the spawns are as follows. So you have Caterpie, Weedle, Shuckle, Wormpool, Cricketot, Combi, Sawaddle and Dwebble. The only Pokemon there that cannot be shiny is Sawaddle, which I'm guessing will have a com community day in the future at some point. However, I'm looking at two Pokemon here, which are, for me, are going to be really good for me. So Weedle to get a shiny um, Weedle slash Beedrill, because I don't have one for the Mega Collection. And then Caterpie for a shiny Butterfree, just in case Gigantamax does come to the game. Um, you will be able to encounter Cutifly and Nincarda, which can both be shiny as well, but they are the rare encounters for the event. So in Rage, you will find the following Pokemon. In One Star Rage, you'll get Pineco, Shuckle, Nincarda, and Skiroopy. In Three Star Rage, you'll have Beedrill, Pinsir, and Cleaver. And in five storage, you will have Tapu Bulu. Now, in Mega Raids, this is where it gets really good. You'll have Mega Charizard X for a period, and then you'll have Mega Heracross coming out. I think it's the second day of the event you will get Mega Heracross. So that is going to be insane. That is a brand new Mega coming to the game, and it does have a raid date at some uh, soon, just before, I think. But we are going to go over that in a second. Now, field research is as follows. We don't actually have any of the tasks and what it will be, but you'll be able to get encounters with uh, Paris, Venonat, Burmy, um, Shelmet, I can't remember what the blue one's called, I'm sorry, Dupider, Wimpod, Beedrill Mega Energy, Pinsir Energy, and then Scizor Energy as well. I can't remember what this one's called. When I see it, it'll, I'll remember straight away. So, there are some shiny Pokemon coming to the event. You will be able to find Combi and Vespiquen. Remember, Combi shiny needs to be the female one to be able to evolve it into Vespiquen. And then, Burmy can evolve into Wormadam. Um, this is by going through the various different um, like forms. It's just basically where you are on the game, on the actual Pokemon game. But it can be the plant form, sandy form, trash form, same thing for Wormadam, and then also for Mothim you'll be able to find shiny as well. There will be some new items in the shop. So you'll have the male combi bag, the female combi bag, and then three earrings as well. And then that is it for the event. This event is actually gonna be really good, obviously with the new edition of Mega Heracross coming as well, rather than just being a raid day and then going away for three months. So I'm really excited for this event. I will be going after a shiny beedrill for definite. Um, probably going to try and get all the Mega Heracross's energy I need, and then we'll probably focus on a Beedrill. Um, speaking of Mega Energy, let's move on to the Mega Heracross Raid Day and see what we'll be getting on there. So, the Mega Heracross Raid Day will be going on Saturday, April 13th at 2pm, all the way until Saturday, April 13th at 5pm. The bonuses are as follows. You will get five free raid passes from spinning gyms during the event. That means you get six during the day. Plus, the remote raid pass limit has been increased to 20 between April 12th at 5 p.m. all the way to April 13th at 8 p.m. You have an increased chance of encountering a shiny Heracross from Mega Raids. That's huge if you don't have a shiny Mega already. And then once two or more trainers successfully complete an in-person raid, more Pokemon will appear around the gym. That hasn't happened before. It usually around the elite raids, these this stuff. So I'm really actually happy about that. I don't remember it happening on any other raid day, so that's really cool. Now there is a five dollar ticket which gets you eight additional raid passes, increased chance to get rare candy XL, um, fifty percent more EXP, and two times Stardust from doing the raids. However, if you're willing to wait after the raid day, you'll be able to get eight more of them anyway. So 
it's not really that important. However, the rare candy might be important if you haven't been in an area where Heracross spawns, just like me. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm probably not going to buy the uh, $5 raid pass, uh, like raid day ticket, just because I won't have enough time to do all 14. Now, obviously, in rage, we will see Mega Heracross, and then you'll have an increased chance of getting the shiny here. So the pink shiny is actually really cool and I'm really looking forward to be able to try and find it in raids during the day. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are on the bug out event and Mega Heracross coming to the game with a raid day. Remember it is coming after the raid day as well, so if you do miss the raid day, you can still get this Pokemon. Um, other than that, please subscribe to the channel if you are new and like the video and I'll speak to you all in the next one.